Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video, I'm going to create the following dashboard, which is about UEFA Champions League. As you can see, we are going to create different charts. I'm going to start from a map for total titles by country. I'm going to create horizontal bar charts for all-time winners ranking and top 10 players by goals. I'm going to create two butterfly charts for top clubs by played games and by scored goals. We have also two text sheets and finally we are going to create two radial bar charts for top 10 players by total appearances and top 10 coaches by total appearances. But before start working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set. So here we have our data set and you can find the link to this data set in the description. You can also find the different links of the CSV file that we are going to use in our dashboard. So as you can see here, we have this data includes statistics up to the group stage of 21-22 season. So here we have the context, but also we have that this data set doesn't have any information about the European Cup competition from 1950 to 1992, and it starts from 92-93 season. So basically, we have data from 92-93 season up to the group stage of 21-22 season. Here we have the content. So this data contains each club's participation record in the competition, each country's club competition records in the competition, top player appearances by club, top player appearances total games, top goal score by club, top goal score totals. We have also top coach appearances by club, Top coach appearances total games, top goal score of each season in the competition with the number of appearances, and the number of goals scored per round per group in each season. Here we have our files. So the first one is all time ranking by club. As you can see here we have position, we have the club, the country, participated, the titles, so number of times won the competition. Next we have played, so number of games played in competition, we have number of games won, number of games drawn, lost, and goals scored. We have also other columns, which are goals against, points, and goal difference. For the second one, we have all time ranking by country. Same thing in here, we have two out columns, so same thing, country, participated, titles, played, win, draw and loss, goals for, goals against, points, goal difference. Then we have coaches appearances details. Here we have only four columns. We have the coach, the club, and the total appearances. Here same thing, we have only the total. So we have only the coach and the number of times coached in competition. Next we have goal stats per group round. So here we have 17 columns. As so you can see here we have the season, the goals, and here we have the different groups right until the final so semi-final quarter final round of 16 and here we have the different groups the next file is about player appearance details so same thing in here we have only four columns the player the club and total appearances the next one is the total so here we don't have the clubs we have only the player and the total number of appearances in competition here same thing, player goal details, we have four columns, so we have the player, the club, and total goals. Here we have the total, so without the club. And the last one is top goal score. As you can see here, this file is about top goal scorer for each season in the competition with number of appearances. Same thing, we have six columns, so we have the year, the player, the club, the goals, and the appearances. So now let's start creating our different sheets. So the first file that we are going to use is all time ranking by club.csv. As you can see here, we have 13 fields and 530 rows. For the position, it is a number, the club, it is a string, country, we have countries, participated, same thing, numbers, and all of them are numbers. So you click on sheet one. So the first thing that we are going to do is to format our workbook. So right click, format. For the shading, we are going to use the following color. So 
has the following code so we have zero 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 four three one okay we click on format workbook for the grid lines we put them off zero lines off worksheets we put them in eight in the following color same thing we have the code which is d7 dc ec right okay same thing for the titles put them in 12 bold and in the same color just for the worksheets we put them in bold also okay and now i'm going to create our map for the total titles by country so double click on country we click on automatic we select map we go to map we click background maps we select dark we have five unknown so for the first one it is united kingdom here we have portugal and for the remaining tableau does not recognize these countries so click on ok right click hide indicator so drag and drop titles into the color and we press ctrl key we drag and drop it to the filters and we select the sum from one up to the maximum apply ok so press ctrl key we drag and drop country into the label and for the colors so i'm going to edit the colors for the maximum we're going to put the following code 000431 okay apply okay so like that we get our map for total titles by country as you can see here spain has the highest value with 19 then we have italy with 12 then united kingdom or england with 14 then we have germany 8 netherlands 6 portugal 4 and the remaining have only one title so double click on the title we put it in the center apply ok right click format and we add our border in our color which has the following code ok so we can hide the card and like that to get our final map next we are going to use the same file in order to create our horizontal bar chart for all time winners ranking so we duplicate this one remove everything so we name it all time winners ranking okay so drag and drop club into the rows title into the columns and we select automatic we sort so press ctrl key with drag and drop the sum into the filters sum next starting from one apply okay for the color we are going to select our color and now i'm going to format our sheet so right click height field labels so right click remove the header we we'll press ctrl key with drag and drop the sum into the label so click on label put it in black and it will be in the center right click format so i'm going to add our borders in the same color like that we get our horizontal bar chart for all time winners ranking and as you can see here we have the first one which is Real Madrid with 14 titles next we are going to create the two butterfly charts using the same CSV file so close this one right click duplicate the first one will be top clubs by scored 
equals so we said at least 300 okay so remove everything we're going to create calculated field name it zero axis and it will have zero apply okay so draw and drop goals against the colors then goals for on the right the zero axis in between them club into the rows and goals for we said at least 300 next come to select 300 apply okay so we select the entire view double click on goals against we select reversed and we're going to sort that using goals for on zero axis we click on automatic and we select text so we press control key we drag and drop club into text right click on this axis we remove the header double click so tick marks none and for the title we put club now for the colors on the left we keep the same color for goals 4 we are going to select the following color so it has the following code 7c9 ed0 okay we can also for the zero axis we can drag and drop the goal difference into the detail and here on all for the tooltip we can remove the zero axis okay so as you can see here we have the club the goal difference goals for and goals against now we click on goals against we press control key we drag and drop the sum of goals against into the label for the label we're going to put them so click on automatic and for the color we're going to select our color same thing for goals 4 we press control key we drag and drop sum of goals 4 into the label and it will have the same color okay now I can just to format goals against so click format for the numbers we select number custom and we select two zero decimal places okay so like that we have our first butterfly chart now I'm going to create the second one which is about top clubs by played games so we duplicate this one and we have said top clubs by played games at least 200 okay now i'm going to remove everything so drag and drop win into the columns loss into the columns on the left zero access between the two club into the rows and we have said at least 200 so played into the filters sum next and we have said at least 200 apply okay so we're going to sort that by the wins double click on loss and we click on reversed double click on the axis tick marks none and for the title it will be the club same thing for loss the color it will be the following color with the following code okay for zero axis we select text we press control key we drag and drop the club into the text same thing for the loss we press control key we drag and drop the total into the label and same thing for the win 
so one thing that you can do is that you click on all so drag and drop plate into the detail and draw into the detail so we select tooltip and here tooltip we click on tooltip so remove the two and we add the draw and also the total game so here we say draw right and here we say plate so put everything black bolt ok so like that we get total games played draw and we have also the club next we are going to create another horizontal bar chart for top 10 players by goals so right click duplicate we say top 10 players by goals ok we remove everything but here we are going to use another file which is player goal total so click on data with the resource and here we have our file okay but as you can see here if we check the original file and this file I change the name Ronaldo to Cristiano Ronaldo to get the right chart so we go to our sheet which is top 10 players by goals we drag and drop player into the rows goals into the columns we press control key we drag and drop player into the filters and we select top 10 by sum of goals apply ok so we can select standard and for the color we select the following color with the following code ok we can sort that we press control key we drag and drop the sum of goals into the label we click on label put it in the center and the color it will be and the color it will be black We right click and we remove the header next we are going to import another file which is top goal scorer and we are going to create two text sheets one is top goal scorer in one season and the second one is most appearances in one season so duplicate this one and we name it top goal scorer in one season okay so remove everything we click on data new data source and here we get our file okay so as you can see here goals and appearances are selected as string so what we are going to do is that we click in here we select split so we get our goals in here right same thing for appearances split and same thing in here we get one text and one number so here we are going to hide it we don't need that one same thing for this one we don't need this one and for goals height we change the name so rename we say total goals same thing in here name total okay so we change total goals into number whole right we drag and drop total goals into the filters and we select the maximum value which is 17 apply okay we drag and drop the player into the text we select the entire view and total goals into the text we have 70 so double click we copy go to text and we add our line select everything in the center put them in 10 apply ok and here we have top goal scorer in one season 
we have Cristiano Ronaldo with 17 goals. One thing that we can do is that we can drag and drop the year into the detail and the club into the detail. We click on tooltip. So remove this one. Remove everything. Insert. We add the club. We add the year. So put it in black. Okay. And here we have the club which is Real Madrid in 2013 and 2014 season. We can also modify the tip. For example, we can add here club and here season. Okay. Okay, so like that we have all the details. Duplicate this one. Again, we to use the same file. And now for total appearances, filter, select the maximum, apply, OK. We drag and drop the player into the text and the total into the text. So we change the title, we name it most appearances in one season. We copy, OK, text. And we add it in here. In the center, put it in 10. Apply, OK. So same thing, we can add the club into the detail and also the season. Click on tooltip. So the club, we add the club and the season, we add the year. OK. So same thing. We have Real Madrid and we have 1999 and 2000. So this is about text sheets. Next, we are going to create the two radial bar charts. So duplicate this one. We start by top 10 coaches by total appearances, right? So remove everything. And we click on data, new data source. And here we have our new file, which is coaches appearances details. Okay. So click on the file, open, and we add radial bar chart values. Same thing, you can find the link to download this file in description. And this file contains two values that you are going to use in order to create our radial bar chart. So create joint calculation, one, apply. OK, same thing in here, one, apply, OK. So as you can see here for each row, we have one value for zero and one for 270, OK. So go to our worksheet and we start by creating our path. So we click on value, create, pins, we name it path. So we start from zero to 270 and the size it will be one okay next name it my index it will be index minus one apply okay next we'll have my total right which will be window max the sum of appearances right apply ok next we will have my rank and it will be rank unique of my total in the ascending order apply ok next to duplicate my total And we rename it to my total max. Create new calculated field. We name it percentage, which will be my total divided by my total max. Apply. OK. 
create calculated field name it x and it will be the cosine in radians of my index multiplied by the percentage multiplied by my rank we select everything we copy apply ok create calculated field y and it will be the sign so you can find in the description the link to the tutorial where I explained in detail the different calculated fields that we need in our radial bar chart so apply ok now draw can drop x into the rows y into the columns path into detail we click automatic and we select line the path we convert it to the path and coach into the color so here we have set the top 10 so drag and drop coach to the filters top by field and top 10 by sum of appearances apply ok so edit table calculations for my index it will be along the path my total same thing my total max along the path and coach and for my rank along the coach we do the same thing for the y so my rank for different coaches my total max both coach and path for my total along the path and same thing my index along the path so we hide the card hide header hide the header and for the color edit colors we press control key we select everything we double click on the last one and we select our color so we have d7 dc ec okay apply okay and we can increase the size a little bit we can select standard so press control key we drag and drop coach into the label same thing we drag and drop the sum of appearances into the label click on label line ends we don't want them at the end so it will be on the left and for the color we select our color right we click on text And we put them like this apply ok so here we have top 10 coaches by total appearances now I'm going to create the second radial bar chart where we are going to follow exactly the same steps using the other file which is players appearances details so duplicate here top 10 players And we remove the two. Okay. So we remove everything. Data. New data source. So here we have our file, which is player appearances details. We open. So I can drop the second file. Okay, so we go to our worksheet and we are going to create exactly the same fields as the previous one. So click on value, create spins, we name it path, the size which will be one. Okay, so my index it will be index minus one, apply. Okay. Next, we have my total, which will be window max of the sum of the appearances. Apply. 
OK. Next we have my rank rank unique of my total same thing send in order apply ok duplicate this one rename it will be my total max ok and we create our percentage which will be my total divided by my total max apply ok so create calculated field we name it x same thing in the radians of my index multiplied by percentage everything multiplied by my rank apply ok and we create y which will be exactly the same one using the sign okay apply okay we are going to drop x into the rows y into the columns path into detail here the player into the color and for the path convert it to path and for the player it will be the top 10 by total appearances apply ok so hide the card and now edit table calculations for my index along the path my total my total max and finally we have my rank do the same thing for y so my rank for the players my total max along both player and path my total along the path and my index along the path ok same thing for the color edit color we press control key we select everything double click and we use the same code ok apply ok right click remove the header right click remove the header press ctrl key with drag and drop player into the label and same thing with drag and drop total appearances into the label click text apply ok and like that we get our final radial bar chart for top 10 players by total appearances so now let's create our dashboard so we click on new dashboard for the size we are going to put 2000 1050 click on dashboard format for the shading we are going to select the following color with the following code ok now I'm going to drag and drop the different sheets. So start from the map. Next we have the butterfly charts. And put it in here. Alright. Next we have top 10 players in here top 10 coaches in here right next we have text sheets so the first one we put it in here the second one in here so high title same thing high title next we have top 10 players put it in here all time winners ranking in here Okay.
and now we are going to add our logo same thing you can find the link in the description so we click on image so we have champions league logo apply okay and we put it in here One thing that we will change is this one. So we go to the worksheet. We copy. So we go to text. And that's that. Apply. OK. We can, for example, change the size. OK. So if you put 1850, OK. And now if we select the presentation mode, we get our final dashboard for UEFA Champions League. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial.